Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda May Gray and that's Summit. Summit, can you get, can you sit down? Anyways. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thanks for checking it out. If you have are a returning, if you are a returning customer of sorts, welcome back. Today we want to talk about how to create a custom virtual background for Zoo so you can look branded and professional using my favorite simple tool, Canva. Let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are on canva.com, which if you watched my last video, I will link that up there as well. You will know I'm a huge fan of Canva. It's an amazing tool. But for me, the Zoom virtual background recommendation pops right up, but you can just type right in Zoom and look, it popped right up. Zoom virtual background. There are a lot of different presets already in here that you can totally just use those, download them and go from there. I mean, look, there's even a fish tank you can utilize which is kind of neat, but I do have some specific things you want to keep in mind when you are creating your own virtual background. You can use one of these templates if you want to, to kind of go, um, to go along and not have to completely, whoa, that's, that's intense. You would be sitting in the middle of those two things, but there are definitely some things you have to keep in mind. Because something like this one here that says, hello everyone with the turtle. Again, you're gonna be sitting in the middle of that. So you might be cutting something off and be sitting in front of something and you don't wanna be sitting in front of anything, nothing, nothing at all. Same with these flowers, you're gonna be in the middle of it all. So if you wanna start off with one of these templates, totally do that. Um, I like to start off with something so I kinda of have a guideline as to what I'm doing. Number one, less is more. All right, so let's just choose this one to begin. And here we are. So you can see again, there's all of these uh, templates still on the side here. Some are video, some just have text for you. So you can kind of browse around and play with those. But if you're gonna use a virtual background, I actually think you want to use just as plain of a background as possible, not an office setting. Everybody knows it's not your office. We know it's a virtual background. So again, less is more, and you just wanna keep it simple. I like this because it's got just a little bit of interest to it, but not a whole lot. Now, instead of saying, do all things with kindness, this is where you could actually type something in for yourself. So I don't have a specific brand of my own, although I probably should, but let's just use my name for uh, an example in my own branding. So I could put my name up here, Amanda May Gray, and then I can adjust that. Again, the thing you always wanna keep in mind, I'm gonna keep it big, is that you are gonna get reduced down to a small little box on Zoom, right? So you don't want something that people have to squint and really figure out. So like this font is no good, if you ask me. I think, oh, that was probably loud. This font will not be legible. Even this playwright script, which I love this font, is still potentially going to be very difficult for, for people to see. So you wanna go with something pretty in your realm of brand, but at the same time, legible. Legible, it, oh jeepers, legible is huge. Maybe not this big though. This is a, a, little, a little aggressive. So let's calm this situation down a little here. I do like that it's on three lines though. Well, not deny. But you can see you can move things around just any way you want. Okay, cool. That's kind of neat, right? Uh, you can adjust down here. You see this little double arrow situation? That allows you to change the angle. Ooh la la. So you could just have it dead on. You'll see the degree mark. So right here is zero. So I know that that is level. I do think level is nice for this particular situation, but you know, it's really up to you. Now the pink lines are showing me some guidelines where I would normally have uh, margins, right, for indexing. Another thing you wanna keep in mind is you are more likely than not gonna be right in the middle of this frame. So one little trick I like to do is come down here to elements, just take, you know, the shape, this is fine, oh, it's yellow, and put it where you think you will be right in the middle. So see the pink line again shows up. That solid pink line is dead center. 
So if I am sitting in my frame, dead center, right? I'm going to make this nice and big because I'm probably going to take up the vast majority. And I only want a little bit of head space. Okay. And I'm in the center. That yellow spot is most likely where the bulk of my body is going to be. So that's going to be my head, my shoulders, probably about chest high in frame. Now my hands clearly are going to be on other either either side of the camera. So that is fine for this because we you know, we might be talking with our hands, we might not. If you are me, you are always talking with your hands. But you can see my name is now overlapping my little box that would be my ideal framing. So it's too big and I need to bring that down. Aha, da -da 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 -da. And I'm not really feeling like I want to be in the star, so I'm going to change that up. You could pick any color you want, something soothing on the eyes, something easy. Or you can come down here to backgrounds over here on the left hand side and you can try a few different things. I like something with just a smidge of texture versus a solid blank color. Something like this I think is nice, maybe even that. Just a little bit of something interesting going on but not too much. Something that is going to complement you. So like with my hair color here, this is actually probably wouldn't look that good. And a key point to keep in mind is that your skin tone can look different with different color backgrounds. So you might download this, test it out on your Zoom, on your own Zoom account, and then decide it's just not really working for you. And maybe you need to tone it up or tone it down, which is where you could adjust the color if you were doing a solid color. Or maybe you just need to choose something completely different. So you got yourself your little box in here. Now say you have a logo that you want to use. You can upload that logo to your upload section. Let's go find a logo. We might as well use Toastmasters. Why not? They're going to love it. Right? So I can have the logo. I can make it smaller and, and then pull it to where you want it to sit. Now again, I don't love things at the bottoms. I think the corners and the bottoms, you're not really going to see it. Up at the top right or left hand, probably your best bet and make sure it's out of your frame. So you can easily just drag and drop media in there and you're good to go. You can change the color of your fonts as well. So I could make this black. And so once you have something you want, then you're going to remove this spacer, I guess is what we should call it. And you literally can just click on it so that it is highlighted and click delete. And now it has disappeared. Then all you need to do is click download. PNG is just fine for a high quality image. Some computers and different versions of Zoom or Teams or whatnot are going to want a lower, they're going to want a smaller sized file. So you may have to choose a JPEG so that it is a smaller size file. So it's easier to upload, but you can mess with that yourself. Once you click download, it will prepare your download. Then you're going to go into your account and upload that new file where it says virtual backgrounds. So it's pretty straightforward with Canva really easy to do. Like I said, the key is going to be to have that little box in there to give yourself a guideline as to where you are going to be sitting. Let's talk about some of these preset templates. So some of them, uh, yes, that is a new page. That's fine. So you can see there's stuff going on. Now you can adjust all of this. You can adjust the size of this particular image. I could adjust the colors you can see up here. But again, you want to utilize that element idea right? Let's change color. Make it how big you might be sitting in frame, center it. Should probably be centered. And then you can see I'm going to be sitting in front of this little kid here and probably in front of some of this word. So this one probably isn't our best choice either. So come back up to templates, the moons, that could be fine, right? Like I could utilize the moons and just sit in front of this one moon. That'd be okay. I probably, honestly, I would delete this moon so that I'm not sitting in front of something and people are trying to figure out what it is I'm sitting in front of versus hearing what I'm saying. You always want everything to be as focused on you as possible. That's the basics of it. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I forgot to mention, make sure you label your file when you do download it. So know what you're looking for. It will automatically, if you're using a template, have a name or it'll end up saying untitled. Make sure 
you go up at the top there to the left of where it says publish and you'll see where you can change the name of that file prior to downloading it or you can you can just do it after you download it and adjust the name i hope this was helpful like i said keep yourself the focus avoid a whole bunch of things going on Avoid all the fun stuff. If you are doing a paid presentation, you need your logo in there. You need people to be paying attention to you. Go with that. If you are just having a fun office meeting and trying to shake it up and mess with your coworkers, by all means, use that creepy Halloween one. It will sure, sure, guarantee to entice some sort of response. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this, please check out my other videos. I've got a bunch of tutorials about being on camera bunch of different ones that we're going to be doing on how to utilize Canva. I think since that seems to be something people are interested in and something I have some experience with. Otherwise, I will see you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments below what more you guys would like to see. Bye guys.